Uh, in this video, we're going to learn how to solve this quite interesting and maybe a bit challenging math problem. The figure shows an open rectangular box. Right? The box is completely immersed in a tank of paint. What is the total area covered in paint? Right? Part B, uh, the box is completely filled with 2 cm cubes. Uh, part 1, find the number of cubes needed. And second, find the number of cubes that are in contact with the painted inside of the box. So for part A, right, we need to realize that this is an open rectangular box. Right? That means there are actually only five surfaces. Right? What are the five surfaces? We have the front, the back, the left, the right, and the bottom. Right? There is no top. And then since this uh, uh, box is totally immersed in paint, Right? Both the inside and outside of the box will be painted. <coughs> what are the surfaces that will be painted? Right? We have the front and back, right? which is uh, 40 multiplied by 20. Right? But we have to multiply this by 4. Why by 4? Because we have the front and back and inside and outside. Alright, so all together there will be four of this uh, uh, surface, right? And then for the left and the right, it will be 20 multiplied by 16. And again, we have to multiply this by 4 because we have the left and the right and inside and outside. Right? And lastly, for the bottom, it will be 40 multiplied by 16. And then this time, because there is no top, right, we only need to multiply this by 2 for the inside and outside. Right, so if we were to calculate this, uh, we are going to get uh, 5760 centimeters squared. For B, part 1, we are asked to find the number of 2 centimeters cube that can be filled inside this box. Right, so in order to do that, we need to find the volume of the box and divide that by the volume of each cube. Right, so of course this will be equal to the length and breadth time height, right, which is 40 multiplied by 16 multiplied by 20 for the box. And then for the cube, it will be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. Right, so if you were to calculate this, we are going to get a very nice number 1600. So for B part 2, we are supposed to find the number of cubes that are in contact with the painted inside of the box. Right? Of course, we can try to do that, but it will be quite a tedious uh, calculation because we have to consider 5 surfaces the front and back, left and right, and the bottom. Right? An easier solution will be to find the volume of an imaginary box all right, of cubes which are not in contact with the inside. All right? The box is shown here in red color. So what we need to do is to find the dimensions of this imaginary uh, inner box. So to help us uh, visualize uh, the <coughs> problem better, I have here two additional diagrams. Right, the first one at the top here is actually the view from the top. Right? That is why we can only see the length and the breadth. Uh, the height is missing. Right? And then uh, the, the diagram at the bottom is the view from uh, either the left or the right hand side. Right? So <coughs> we can see here that the height is 20 and the uh, breadth is 60. Right? So let's try to find the length of this imaginary uh, inner box. Right? It will be 40. And then since there will be gaps all right, occupied by the cubes uh, at the two edges, we have to minus 2 times 2. Right? 2 being the two number of cubes and the other 2 is actually 2 centimeters, uh, the dimension of each cube. Right? So this will be 
uh, 40 minus 4 or 36 right. and the breadth similarly will be 16 minus 2 times 2 or 16 minus 4 equal to 12 right but the height will be slightly different the height will be 20 minus 2 because it is an open box right there is no top so the cubes will occupy right to the end right so this will be 20 minus 2 or equal to 18 now we can find the number of cubes that are inside this imaginary red box all right so that will be of course be equal to 36 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 18 and then we have to divide the volume of the cubes which is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 right, so if you were to calculate these you are going to get 972 right so the total number of uh, cubes that are in contact with the painted inside we will have to take the total number of cubes inside the box which we have calculated earlier to be uh, 1600 and minus 972 we're going to get 628 okay. so for your practice uh, go to the link uh, that is given below All right uh, click on the new problem button to get a new set of numbers uh, just to take note that the cube size will change all right, we have three, one, and two centimeter cubes. Right after you uh, have done your work, you can check your answer. And one last note: uh, this uh, diagram can be rotated. Actually, right, just click and hold, and you can rotate it. Okay, guys. So have fun, and thank you for listening.